the ancient secrets of China provoked the thought of coexistence with an extraterrestrial alien advanced civilization thousands of years ago. Now, a while back, I did post uh, videos concerning the landing of sky gods, not only in ancient Egypt, but also in China, Korea, and Japan, 2400 BC. At around the same time, ancient Egypt, China, Korea, and Japan. Now, this is from the annals of China, Korea, and Japan, and of course, some uh, historical uh, legends from uh, the Tully Papyrus and others concerning ancient Egypt and the sky gods. Now, these secrets from the ancient Indians, the ancient Chinese uh, texts, hundreds of buried pyramids, stone, ancient stone discs, ancient crashes and UFO sightings, Manuscripts with instructions for building spaceships, reports of travel to other planets, accurate world maps, flying gods, and government bans on research indicate that great secrets are hidden in its soil in China. Mysteries that make us suspect alien traffic in those ancient times. Mysteries that are slowly being revealed. When some Sanskrit documents found in Lhasa, Tibet, were translated by Chandrigarh University, Dr. Ruth Reina and his tea and her team were amazed to discover that the thousands of years old documents contain construction instructions for interstellar spaceships with an anti-gravity propulsion method based on a powerful centrifugal force system. Dr. Reina said that in these machines called Astras, the ancients could have sent a, mess uh, a mission up to another planet the manuscripts did not specify whether interplanetary travel took place, but did mention a planned trip to the moon, but they do not clarify whether this trip actually took place. The Great White Pyramid of China. Nowadays, the Chinese have announced that they are including some parts of the elements of these manuscripts in their space program. And this was one of the first cases of government recognizing ancient documents. Next to the launch pad of China's space program is its oldest and strangest building, which is not the Great Wall of China, which you all know, but the Great White Pyramid. A pyramid that tourists and scholars alike have been forbidden to approach for hundreds of years, just like the rest of China's 900 pyramids that were buried under the soil to look like natural hills. How were they built? And what are the secrets of the Chinese authorities have been hiding from us all these years. Nobody knows. The drop of stone discs in 1938 in the Bayan Karaula Mountains on the border between China and Tibet, they were found in a cave by the archaeologist Chi Pu Te. These strange drop of stone discs, the 716 discs, each of which hold an incredible secret, are about 9 centimeters in diameter and 3 quarters of an inch thick, and right in the center they have a round hole and a spiral groove is engraved on their surface, starting from the center and ending towards the rim. The groove, on closer examination, is a continuous line of strangely carved hieroglyphs. The records date back to between 10,000 and 12,000 years ago and were apparently fashioned by the hand of an intelligent being, an advanced civilization at the time, and in addition to the drop of plates, these discs, other ancient strange artifacts have been found on the Chinese continent. Among the most important are the states, the statue of Jomon with the huge eyes and strange costume, and the green heads with the golden masks, which do not match anything that has been found in any period of Chinese history. Now, the UFO incidents between 139 BC. In 1991, researcher Chai Chi Chang published a book containing UFO sightings in the most recent period of ancient China with data from Chinese history books recording 741 UFO incidents between 139 BC and 1918 AD. Some cases were just a note in a diary like this from, from the year 32 BC during the first year of the Han Dynasty, Two moons appeared in the night sky suddenly, it said. Other observations, however, are much more detailed. 
such as the one on April 13, 905 AD in the Tang Dynasty. In the middle of the night, a very large star that looked like a dew, that's 10 liter grain box-like measuring container, suddenly appeared at the top of the sky and headed northwest. When it had reached about 30 meters above the ground, that's 100 feet, it suddenly stopped and remained motionless until it disappeared. Meanwhile, a mist rose from the earth, the book of the new Tang year two, Tang dynasty. Chai, Kai Chi Chang added that this could not be a meteor because it cannot stop in a vertical fall from the sky. Furthermore, a meteorite cannot change direction so we're talking about a UFO here. In the book Dong Tain Ji of the Tang Dynasty, 618 to 907 AD, there is a mention of the crash of a metal skyship over 50 meters long, it's 150 feet, that was found and placed in the Ling De Hall. In the years of Emperor Dao Ming, the figurine disappeared and the ship flew away. During the reign of Emperor Jiu, 1056 to 1064 AD, bright UFOs often appeared over the city of Yangzhou, Jiangsu province, in the nearby lakes. Ancient Chinese world map? At the beginning of the 21st century, another important historical discovery was made that confirms the theories about flying craft. Liu Gang, a Chinese lawyer, brought an ancient Chinese world map from an antiquities dealer. He uh, bought the map in Shanghai because when he looked at it, he was amazed at, it, at its accuracy. The map was an exact copy made in 1763 of an earlier Ming Dynasty map from 1418. How Ming Dynasty, without making transatlantic voyages, he mapped the Earth with tremendous precision, a result that comes only with observation from above, from the air, from the sky. All these unknown for many until today revelations show advanced intelligent civilizations in antiquity and make us wonder three things. If technologically superior extraterrestrial civilizations did indeed once descend on Earth, why did they choose to contact the ancient Chinese first? since the revelations are even older than those of the Indians and Egyptians, and why did they ultimately choose to leave? This I've translated from a Greek article. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.